I'm Professor Gamila Nasr. I am uh, the president of the Egyptian uh, uh, working group of uh, the preventive cardiology and cardiac rehabilitation of the Egyptian Society of Cardiology. And uh, now we are, uh, you know, we're sharing because a very important uh, item that's prevention. So when we are talking about prevention, you're talking about health. Health in, you know, in the definition of the WHO means that it is prevention, then prevention, then prevention, and lastly it's cure. So we are talking about prevention of heart disease, and we, as we all know that Egypt I know, now is number 23 uh, over the world and uh, for the coronary heart disease, maybe six, seven and for the, uh, for the diabetes, uh, for the obesity is one of the fattest country, maybe the fattest country in, in Africa. So we do have to uh, look for the prevention as an important uh, entity to combat uh, the uh, heart disease in Egypt. Actually, I have to just to uh, summarize what means by, pre by prevention. As we know, the European Society of Cardiology has uh, you know, uh, put a very important equation to prevent heart disease. And if you are talking about this, uh, this uh, equation, it's just the zero, three, five, one, four, zero, five, three, zero. What does that mean? Zero stands for no smoking. Three, you have to walk three kilometers a day or, 40, uh, or 30 minutes, four days a week. You have uh, to have uh, f to eat five uh, pieces of vegetables and fruits a day, which is which should be at you know the different colors. This adds to the antioxidant capability of uh, these uh, uh, vegetables and uh, uh, fruits as well. 140 stands for hypertension. Hypertension should be you know it's adjusted and should be ample. 53 stands for the dyslipidemias and which should be uh, you know in the uh, normal values as were well zero for diabetes and obesity. Now we are taking we are saying that exercise for example if you have to walk three uh, you know, it is even the cheapest uh, uh, factor that prevent 20, uh, you know, chronic diseases. And as we all know that chronic diseases accounts for more than 80% of the uh, cause of mortality among Egyptians. And it's even around 65% of premature deaths in, among the Egyptians. So we have to, for just I'm talking about exercise. Actually, exercise can prevent 20 uh, chronic diseases. This is very important. This is very, you know, uh, you know a keynote uh, part or uh, the prevention of cardiovascular disease. If you can walk, it doesn't also affect heart disease. It also has a positive influence upon the diabetes. As you can see, if you can walk uh, 150 uh, you know, minutes per week, you can prevent even diabetes. So this is very important. And if, regarding the cost, as you can see, the diabetes, for example, and uh, costs the, the, the country a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, a lot of, you know, costs for the, in Egypt. So we are talking about the cost effectiveness. If you, all the Egyptians can walk and exercise properly, maybe this will enhance the country to uh, reduce uh, the cost, have be cost effective and it, it will have a positive impact on economics being uh, more than saving around 20 million, million uh, uh, Egyptian pounds. This is very important and we have to look for that. Smoking as well is very important and we're talking about smoking that you, uh, smoking is, is a really the problem and, and, and we can see if you are smoke a day, uh, this will decrease the, your, uh, um, the span of the, uh, of the personnel by 15, this 15 minutes a day. This is very important as a study have said. Also, uh, so also it increases the incidence of uh, myocardial infarction by even 29% or even more. It can also increase uh, the complications of post-MI. And it's, it's not that in women, in men also. We are very, very, uh, you know, fascinated by its very bad effect in the women, as we can see that now uh, males and females are having shisha smoking, which is even more hazardous. Also, the vapors are not allowed because they cause a lot of impact. It has a negative impact upon the population. It is no for smoking. We have to say no for uh, vaping, no for, uh, uh, you know, the uh, chisha smoking, no for all of these. So we have 
to look for that. Obesity as well is a very important factor. And as we can see, according to the Framingham study, this, this, uh, it, it gives a clue that if you are obese at, at, at the age, if you, if you are overweight at the age of uh, 40, you have less three years of survival. If you are obese at the age of 40, you have seven years uh, survival than normal. But if you are obese and a smoker as well, you will have 14 years less for a survival. So a lot, a lot, prevent, prevent, prevent. Also, we have the owner to, to be uh, the, uh, the uh, member or representative of the International Society of Cardiovascular Prevention as the African representative of the African, uh, of the International Society of Cardiovascular Prevention. And all the world would say, it's, you know, it's much, much more important to prevent than to cure that heart disease. Thank you very much.